The International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness, the IAPB, is a global alliance dedicated to tackling avoidable blindness and vision impairment. We spoke with its chief executive, Peter Holland, to understand a bit more about their work and the global efforts to improve eye health and vision care worldwide. Can you begin by telling us some of the key global challenges in eye health that IAPB is currently addressing? Well, the biggest challenge is the scale of the of the problem. There are over a billion people around the world who have sight loss because they don't have access to the eye care services that they need. And those are often really straightforward services like access to glasses or cataract operations, which are very straightforward operations to, to carry out. Uh, and that has a real impact on their lives. So it's not just a healthcare issue. Uh, there are millions of people who lose their jobs and can't work because they can't see. And for children, having access to glasses can have a huge impact on their ability to learn. I've had so many stories of children who were told that they were stupid when actually what they needed was a pair of glasses so that they could read what was, what was in front of them. Um, so it has this huge impact, as I say, not just on health, but on the economy, uh, on education and on people's, people's lives. But alongside that, the, the problem's growing. Um, if, we don't do, if we don't do something, potentially by 2050, almost two billion people uh, will have sight loss because they don't have access to the eye care that they need. And that's because we've got more older people uh, who are affected by sight loss, but also growing conditions like myopia, which is short sight, uh, which is particularly affecting children and, 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 uh, and young people. Uh, and that's being driven by people working much more indoors, working on screens and not going outside as much. And we saw an explosion of that, particularly during COVID, but that's continuing to grow elsewhere. There are parts of the world where almost every child, every, almost every young person has myopia and it's estimated that by 2050 again if we don't do something about it uh, almost half the world's population will have myopia. How does IAPB collaborate with governments and organisations to drive policy changes in eye care? Um, well one of the other challenges is that uh, it's such an obvious issue that it's almost taken for granted. Um, I describe it often as a Cinderella issue because as I say, it's so obvious that governments uh, and decision makers just often ignore it and, and take it for granted. In some respects, it's the biggest public health crisis that people aren't aware of. Uh, and so what we try to do is firstly raise awareness uh, of the issue, because if you don't know that you've got an eye health issue, you're not going to go and look for the services that you need. Uh, and so we run information campaigns and public awareness campaigns to raise awareness about that. Uh, and we also lead for the sector in uh, engaging and talking to governments and international institutions to really try to get eye health and eye care on the global agenda, get policies adopted to include uh, eye health as part of healthcare policies and then get the resources that eye care needs. And finally, what are the future goals of IAPB in expanding access to eye care in low and middle income countries? Well, our goal is an ambitious one. We want to eliminate avoidable sight loss. Uh, so we want those billion people who currently don't have access to eye care to have access uh, to the eye care they need so they don't have sight loss. And that may sound like a really ambitious goal, but I think unlike many of the global challenges that we currently face, it really is doable. Uh, it is about really basic services, about access to glasses, about access to cataract operations. These are some of the simplest, most cost-effective health operations that there are. And we are seeing progress in some of the, some of the more challenging areas. So there are two infectious diseases, trachoma and river blindness, which are caused by insects and can lead to really horrible, painful infections of the eye, which then lead to blindness. And 20 years ago, there were more than a billion people worldwide who were at risk of these infections. Now that figure is much less than 100 million, and we're really on track to eliminating those diseases by the end, potentially by the end of this, this decade. And so we want governments to, to take that example and really, uh, really implement policies to integrate and develop eye care services for their whole populations. So, so we want them to deliver on the, effectively those global promises 
that, uh, that they've made. So that's why we're championing a global summit on eye health, where we want to bring world leaders together to really galvanize action at country level and together commit to uh, eliminating avoidable sightless over the next decade.